We want, to be comp- we want to be compassionate physicians. Let's be compassionate to each other tomorrow. Let's be compassionate to our, phys- uh, our patients that we do have get encounter or the ones that we go and visit in the hospital. Guys, let's make a difference tomorrow or, and today and make it a day by day by day process. Because yes, it might get harder and it will get harder. And it's gonna be a journey. But let's not realize that we don't have to just wait. We can do it right now. We can make that difference right now. And you know what, guys? I guarantee you, if we do that, passionately invest, being compassionate, competent every day, enjoying what we get to study, the awesome privilege that it is, day by day by day, I guarantee you, the class of 2018 will change the world. Just wait. go back and tell myself anything it would have to be that you can't do everything 100% you only get 24 hours in a day um, and you can't you can't be involved in five different organizations and three different extracurricular things and still have time for exercise and family and um, yeah I think I just go back and tell myself relax, pick what matters to you, and go for it. Med school has been very humbling for the most part, where um, I know with me, I was like a straight-A student in college. I'm pretty sure that's how everybody was, A's and B's, and then you think you have everything kind of like down-packed, like your study methods, like you know um, the material you learn in class, you had enough time to learn it all and digest it and really have a hang on it, but then when you come here, um, 
Mm-mm. Not like that at all. <laughs> not like that. You get like smacked in the face with all this information and then like you realize like, oh, I'm smart, but it's, it's more of like being smart about how you use your time and not like necessarily just like how much you know. So I would tell myself to calm down probably and that everything was going to be okay because I'm a pretty anxious person. I get nervous about pretty much everything. Um, but in the end, it all always works out. So I think I would just tell myself to relax and that everything will be fine. Fair Park Med School is definitely, that's an easy one, meeting people, um, classmates are incredible. I think the camaraderie probably that our class has um, is definitely my favorite part. I definitely wouldn't be able to go through this with just anyone. That's a tough one because I mean they all have different qualities that are equally impressive. Um, I think we all love Dr. Pace. Uh, he's, you know, really relaxed and accomplished and brilliant. Um, but, uh, you know, he keeps his calm and cool all the time, so, well, luck. Uh, in this instance, it really stands out to me. Last spring, uh, my grandmother was having some really hard health problems. Um, she eventually passed away. Uh, during that time, I received a phone call from my mom, and she was like, you know, it might be the last time you see your grandmother. You might want to come up. Um, and it was right in the middle of a of the module uh, neuroanatomy. Uh, who, uh, not Dr. Nathaniel teaches in that module. And, um, what, what ended up happening is I ended up leaving for an entire week of school, um, and not even touching a book or anything school related for an entire week. So when I came back, I was just, I was just hugely overwhelmed. And during that time, I say all that to say that uh, because during that time. Dr. Nathaniel, I emailed him, he was the module director, co-director, um, and I said, you know, these are the circumstances, I have to go, I'm not going to be touching school schoolwork for at least a week. Um, he was just s severely uh, empathetic and just, just trying to work with me to, to make up any work that I had. And um, When I came back from the week and I was just completely overwhelmed, Dr. Nathaniel came up to me and, and he sought me out and said, you know, what can I do to help you out? What can I do to um, get you back on track? And, and he was just really there, really there for me and uh, really meant a lot to me. And I, I really want to emulate that. I mean, he's a busy man. He didn't have to seek me out like that and, and be there for me, but he did. So I really appreciate that. So. If I could emulate anyone, I, it would probably be Dr. Catalana. He's just been a huge inspiration and role model for me since I started med school. He just really always has the right thing to say. He just has such a vast knowledge base, and he can always tell, you, give you his honest opinion without it ever being harsh or abrasive. Um, I was in his CDR group last year, and I probably learned more in CDR in two hours than I would learn an entire week of school just about how to be a, pra a good practicing physician. I think he just has a lot to offer and I don't think that every doctor that's a good doctor is necessarily a good educator, but I think that he definitely is an excellent educator and an excellent doctor. When the angels scream. Um, my family is my stress reliever, so I go home and uh, wrestle around with my kid and, and hang out with my wife. Um, so Cruiser is, is, and Sarah are definitely the stress relievers. Um, it gives me something to look forward to at the end of the day when I go home to hang out with them. Um, what I do, I do community service. So I immerse myself in a cause to feel like um, I'm actually doing something with my time instead of stressing. Because I tend to fall into like a little hole where I stare at my ceiling. I'm like, what is life? What am I doing here? Am I in the right place? But then, like, if I, you know, actually serve somebody else, it, it'll help me get grounded and, you know, come back to reality and realize, like, I'm doing this for a reason. There actually was a study that was printed last week that um, said that uh, helping other people doing community service is, like, it's a good stress reducer. Well, it was just a week ago when I found out what a brassica vegetable is. So, uh, it's gotta be broccoli. You okay. Know? That's a staple. Solid. It's green. It's good I think you. they're all green, but okay. Are they all? <laughs>
Can I be curry instead? Can I be curry on the brassica vegetable? No. Oh, I would be broccoli, 100%. I think breast sprouts are too small for cauliflower. I think I'll be broccoli, I'll be broccoli. No, I feel like everybody said broccoli. I'll be cauliflower, just cause it's different. It's like a white broccoli. Okay. It's a dark embrace